Ah, uh, she's got four rounds. Right, well, we're gonna leave. Yeah, no. Okay, right, well, we're gonna go as a team. Let's go. In fact, Billy's gonna take the key because we're about to use that up. Actually, I'm not sure. Is that. Yeah, there might be two doors that you need that for. So let's have a look. Exchange. Yeah, Rebecca's just going to be the mule. She's going to carry all of our unwanted items. And that way we can leave her in a corner somewhere if things get heavy. Now, we just got the Mad Doctor zombie in here, I believe. No, there's a few of them now. Right. Ah. Remember when I said if that zombie was here? He now is. I thought there was too few zombies in here. Yeah. I think this happens twice in this game. Where they kind of repopulate zombies. Uh, in certain rooms. Which is kind of annoying. But never mind. We really don't have the bullets to fight them. However. Fuss as das. Lighter fluid. That is going to be bloody handy. Let's examine our lighter fluid. A container of lighter fluid. Well, yep, yeah, I guess you can't really argue with that. So let's combine that with that. Um, I really, yeah, we probably... Ah, there's more Molotovs there. That's handy. We can go use those now. Um, or I should say there's more bottles. I don't think... The refrigerator, the door is broken and refuses to open. Well, that sucks. I guess there's no dinner then. Right. Um, these utensils appear to be well used. Huh. Well. The sink has long since lost its shine. You really worried about the state of the place now? Well, there we are. Right. So it looks like some creature has been butchered here. Can we look out the window? Nope. Right, so this is a little bit annoying. Um, we're just going to have to gun it. and assess the situation on the fly and that really wasn't very clever we did not assess the situation however we're not injured yet see Billy is very strong he really is which is kinda handy um, now have we used the key that's what I wanna know let's have a look no we didn't but we are going to hmm. let's give those I don't want to give those to Rebecca because I forget to put her on uh, idle and she bloody use them all so we're going to give that to Rebecca there you go carry the key uh, and we are going to use the fuel and make some more molotovs So we got nine units of fuel. I didn't realize we had that many. Let's come. What? Hang on a minute. There's some glitching going on here. No, there isn't. I'm being a turd. They've gone up there. I was <laughs> like, what happened to our Molotovs? Why has that gone down to six? Oh, I see. I didn't realize they auto stacked. Right, okay. So, let's go back into that room that we needed to light the candle. Now, where was that? Can I remember what the map button is? There we go. Um, it was upper floor. Right, yeah. However, we now know there are more zombies in that room. Okay. Um... We take the shotgun with us, just in case. 
I'm hoping we're not going to need it, but, you know, precautions. Right. Now, let's go back to that room. I can't actually remember what's through that room, if I'm honest. Yeah, the, it gets a little bit fuzzy from here on in. I think. I might surprise myself. Right. So we want to go... Is it this way? It is this way. There is a locked door here. In fact, there's two... I think there's two or four night doors. But we can't open those yet. So we're going to have to play with some zombies now, aren't we? Yep. And run, Billy. <laughs> In fact, if you bite Rebecca, let's try and see. Yep. That was kind of convenient. Now, whilst he's on the floor... Nope, that didn't work. Did that work? He's dead. How are we doing ammo-wise? Uh, not great, let's be honest. Um, combine. He did get a bite in on Rebecca as well, which is a bit of a bugger. But that doesn't matter too much. <clears throat> what we might do in that case is leave Rebecca in this room. In case we need her to carry something. Ah. Oh. oh, I was going to say there's enemies in here. Bollocks. There isn't. They're upstairs. Right, so let's use our lightimer bob to open this door. Oh. Okay, there we go, click. Um yeah. Let's split I'm gonna leave Rebecca here. What have we got on us? We've got a knife, a few rounds. We got Molotovs, so Yeah, damn it. Maybe using all of our pistol ammo wasn't the smartest move. What do we have? Ah sugar lumps. Yeah. Yeah, you can see some great animation on the zombies there. Okay. Not sure what to do here, guys. Ah. Uh, Let's see how we go. So we dropped him quite quick. So can we run up to this guy quick? knife him to the floor. No. No, we cannot. Trouble is, there is... Yeah. The knife really isn't much cop in these small locations. And it wasn't actually hitting that zombie, which is an ass. But Billy is only just injured. So can we knife this guy? We can, but it's not going too well. So how much damage did we take? Oh. Yeah, that's not really worth the trade-off. Um, hmm. Right, I'm actually going to redo that. So I will be back in a minute. You can hear the power difference. There's a lot more power in uh, Billy's handgun. Please don't soak up all my bullets. <laughs> Might just... we got three rounds left. We should have this in the bag. Nope. Oh, he's getting up for round three. There we go. We have one round left. If we got bitten, we could have shot ourselves. So that works out pretty well. Now, here we have some wonderful grenade ammo for the grenade launcher that we know where it is, but we don't have. So that's fine. Now, we need to go up here. 
As you can see, there is a candle. It's a still life painting of fruit in a basket. Wonderful. Some of the fruit in the painting is rotten. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Ask no questions, get no lies. Right, now we can see that this is movable. Ah, what's this? What's this? What's this? Ah, yes. The Book of Good. Right. So if we have a gander at this, quote, Book of Good. Yes, yeah, it's a very interesting read. Hmm. An elegantly bound book entitled Good. <clears throat> very nice. It seems unusually heavy for a book of its thickness. However, if we have a look and try to open the book, yep. Ba ba! We have the angelic good wings that we need. Angel wings, if you will. Right, so we now have one complete statue. Which is always good. So we are getting somewhere. However, I've got the feeling that there's more in this room. Uh, however, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, see, we can push it that way, which might have been the fitting... Uh, the filing cabinet is in a state of total disarray, but there doesn't seem to be anything of interest. Okay. Can we do anything with a candle, maybe? No. Okay. Ah. Biology, sociology, political science. The bookshelf contains works on a wide variety of subjects. Okay. Right, so anyway, we've mined this uh, room out now, I think. I'm sure there was something more in here. Uh, maybe I'm just uh, hoping that there's some bullets. Ah, never mind. Anyway, so let's go and rejoin Rebecca. Right, let's have a look at the map because we still have the facility key. Come on. This Follow me. Um, well, let's go put the wings on our statue. We might as well use up those items and get them out of the way. And I don't want to go around here. There's no zombie. Ah, there's the other. Oh, <laughs> I honestly did not know that was where the other red room was. Yep, chuck the key. Let's go. Now, what's through here? I mean, we do have three bullets. No, one oh. bullet that is left unused. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh. There is nothing in this room. No zombies. Please be some bullets. The bookshelves are arranged in no particular order. Some of them seem to have been have been removed from the shelf. Okay. So what do we got here then? We can move that from what I remember. There's a very old computer there, but hey, it's roughly 1998. I think it is 1998 actually. Right, let's shift this down. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure you could. There's some bullets there. I can see them glistening away. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Wonderful bullets. Right. Now let's get over there. Yeah, I'm sure you could step over that. Right. Come to Papa. Yes. We shall take the bullets. Right, so we are g Well, we have a mag, maybe. Uh, examine. No, we don't want to examine the bullets. I know they're wonderful. Combine. There we go. We have. W you know what? Let's be generous, shall we? Combine. Uh, we'll give that to Rebecca. She's got one bullet in her gun. She might need it for herself. Um, exchange. However, she does have a shotgun that she has been given strict instructions not to touch. If we need to use the shotgun, that's Billy's job. Because she is much better at it. Oh, my phone's ringing, so you're going to have to excuse me for a minute.
Sorry about that, I had an important, um... Ah, we've got some shotgun shells as well! Woohoo! I love this room. Um, yeah, I had some good news about my dad. He went in to have a scan on his stomach today for aneurysms. Uh, but he doesn't have any, so that's good. Right, so let's grab these shells. We'll be stuffing these in our pockets as quick as we can. Let's actually examine these. 12 gauge. I find that disappointing. When I show you Resident Evil Remake, what I used to like is everything was, um, yeah, you can't do it. Everything was really interactive. Like when you examined the shotgun shells, you actually saw the box open and the shells inside. Little things like that. I really like that. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's have a look. We have a note. Goodness. Assistance Director's Diary. Alrighty. September 2nd. Useless bunch of trainees, as always. Oh dear. Where does headquarters find these idiots? Yeah, Cornwall, maybe. Oi! <laughs> I'm from Cornwall, None before of anybody that. moans. No, you aren't, remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Oh, what have I. St I'm being trolled already. Yeah. <laughs> right. Huggy, huggy, huggy! Sake. There you go. Quiet. Can I read this now, please? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Uh, we did get a couple of decent ones though. I can't complain, I guess. William and Albert. They might have a future. Ah! Interesting. William, uh, obviously Birkin, and Wesker. Hmm. Wesker was never they might have a future. September 25th. Scholar Will, practitioner. Was that A1? I think it's A1. It's a bit hard to make out on this low definition. <laughs> they are really uh, opposites, and they've always they're always competitive in everything they do. AL, isn't it? William. AL. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, and they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October seventh. Got a sudden call from the director. Uh, it was to tell me. Th to encourage a rivalry between these two. Hmm. This is the first time since training the this training facility was built that Director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have them tearing at each other's throats. Huh. Okay. So. Hmm. So yes. Very interesting. However, we've seen them in the cut screens. They seem to be quite happy together. Right, so let's have a look. What's down here? We have a button. There's a switch here. Flip it. Go on then. Ah! It's a light switch. Now let me guess. I can already see where this is going. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of um, head tipping to the original game in this, especially the remake. Again, I will uh, point these out if you don't know, as and when we get to them. Right, let's shift this down there. I was sure there was something we had to do with this table, but for some reason I was thinking there was two movable tables. And Rebecca's in the way. No, look, look, control yourself, woman, please. Look, go sit in this corner over here. I'll go alone. Roger. That's right, Bill. I know I'm always giving Rebecca a hard time. I really don't think she's a bad character at all. I just wish they'd made her better in this game. Right. So let's shove this down here. I don't care if we squash her. Better we kill her and get rid of her now. <laughs> look, look, Bill. Now we're having troubles with Bill. There we go. So what have we got here? Uh, we haven't quite pushed the table far enough over. Look, you can see it. Seriously, you could. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, can we sit? No, no. Get up on the bloody thing. This is a bit fiddly. I don't remember having this trouble on the GameCube version, but who knows? Maybe I did. Right. Oh, oh, come on. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to have Bill stand here, 
We are gonna switch over to Rebecca. Is she strong enough to push this? Egat. Oh, Bill, what are you doing? Bill, you, you're busting my balls to bury you. Seriously. Okay, this is like, this this is like looking after toddlers. Like, you sit there, okay? You. Look, 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 look. We're, we're, oh, look, we're try I know we're breaking up the team, and Carlson and Peters don't agree with that type of thing, but... We've got no choice. Because I've just been asked why we're pushing it. Because it's not far enough over. I think it's got to be pushed this way a little bit. And now we get Rebecca to do it. Now Rebecca is shy, uh, shite. Yes, we know she's shite. But she's slightly smaller as well. So I'm wondering if her height is also going to be a penalty against her. Everything else seems to be. Right, now get up there. There we go. I was going to say, if you can't get this, there is some serious issue somewhere. There seems to be something here. Yes. Iron needle. Right. That is a great item. I couldn't remember where that was. Okay, so let's go down. Right, yeah, this is a very, very important item. Oh, come on, Bill. Clu uh, okay. Clue in. There we go. <sighs> right. It really is like playing with children. Right. Now. We are going to need someone fast. I guess they both move the same speed, don't they? Right. Let's think about this. Let's go back here. Now the iron needle is very important. Um, we can use it now as well, which is an advantage. Right, okay, so what... Right, um, hmm. So, we need to go back up there. In fact, I'm going to have to pause it here, guys. Right. Hello, everybody. Uh, so, this is continuing on from when I just paused it. As you can see, there is another kind of awkward jump cut that doesn't make any sense of me putting the angel wings onto the back of the good statue. Um, there's kind of been a bug in my hop hog which seems to be deleting um, or more of a delay. Uh, when I start recording for some reasons it's taking up to a minute to actually start capturing. Um, so in this video which is kind of a mishmash because I've um, been getting interrupted there's actually this video is three parts basically uh, and f so there's around about a minute a minute and ten worth of missing footage now it's not too bad because a lot of that is just me explaining and like blabbing but it is kind of a pain in the ass and that's why some of it doesn't make sense uh, how when we start off we're not where we was when we paused, but usually it's just literally through a door or in the next room. Um, so it's kind of a pain, but anyway, uh, in this bit we are just about to go and sort the clock puzzle out, which I kind of make another silly mistake here. But yeah, so the two jump cuts are putting the angel wings on. I think there's about about yeah say about 17 seconds of missing missing footage there um, and in the beginning of the video when I decided I wanted to retry because uh, Billy took too much damage with a knife again there's about 17 maybe 20 seconds of missing footage just explaining what I did um, so it's not the end of the world, but I'm really not happy about it, to be honest. Um, but I think I've isolated what is causing that bug. And I think it's something to do with the TV switching sources. 
that's what I think it is. You stay um, here. So we're gonna have a good look at that. So anyway, I thought I'd put that in here and clean it up. Um, I'll probably put an annotation, annotation at the front of the video as well. Anyway, here we are as Rebecca. Now we got to go through this room, and this room's full of birds. And Rebecca isn't in the best of health. As soon as I started going through this room, I was thinking, why the hell am I using Rebecca, who has, who is injured and weak, when we have Billy on full health, and he's quite tough. That's how yes, he's a powerhouse, a stallion. So, um, hmm. So anyway, here we have these things, which I had completely forgotten about. A solidly built clock. The minute hand is missing from the dial. Now, we took a hit there, I think. Now, this is that puzzle. Um, remember we got a memo earlier uh, that said something about a code being 8.15. So, we need to move the hour hand, obviously, to the 8. And the minute hand to the 15. You can probably hear Nikki stirring tea there. But there's not a lot I can do about that. Sick. <laughs> so anyway, that's that puzzle. Now we have to run like hell and try and survive. Now that puzzle uh, unlocks the two doors that have the image of a clock above them. Now these are pretty important doors and you can probably also hear my cat, my old cat, rumbling around. She's not quite self-aware anymore. Aww. Right. And then, yeah, that little git just got that second swipe in there and she's on danger. Now I'm crapping myself here thinking I've now got to hope that I don't get pecked to death by the crows outside. Yeah, Rebecca really is the only one that has a chance of being pecked to death by a single crow. Uh, so here we are. Panic, panic, panic. Run, run, run. Literally, if one even shat on us, we'd be dead. But luckily, that didn't happen. So... Let's go rejoin Billy. I really wish this they should have they they added something else to Rebecca, like she could carry an extra two items or something, or because she's got backpacks and things on, or I should say um, pouches. But she really doesn't have any advantages at all. It's kind of strange that they've done it that way, because usually the characters will have two very different. Um, qualities, if you will. But Rebecca's got nothing. I might actually look up a wiki later uh, and see if she actually, there is actually anything non-essential that she's good at. But I don't think there is. She can't take damage. She can't shoot. She can carry just as much as anyone else. Um... And there's loads of items and things she can't even move. Right, so let's jiggle our junk about, and I think we have. Right, we're going to drop the grenade rounds. See, although we've used the knife quite a bit, we have actually saved some really good bullets and shells and grenades and things. So hopefully, um, we're actually setting ourselves up for quite a nice mid-game. Right. So yeah, I was trying to get Rebecca out of the way, and I think I was moaning about her there. I can't remember what I was saying. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up uh, this episode. Now, I've hopefully sorted this bug out in the hot hog, so hopefully I won't have to do these silly, annoying jump cuts anymore. Um, I don't mind doing them, but they, they don't edit well. But anyway, Thanks for watching. You can already see it's kind of crashed again. The game is literally frozen when I stop recording. So anyway, uh, catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks.